What's going on guys, Sandman here, and what you're watching is some Rainbow Six Extraction armor tests that Joe and I did uh, to test out everything. So, uh, just to give a baseline, um, so Joe has picked Alibi with body armor, and um, although all the clips aren't going to be in this video, th uh, the main clips showcasing it are uh we picked two characters or uh, actually a handful of characters because a lot of them went down and and you know, we clipped a lot of uh videos and stuff but we picked up all the characters who had uh one armor and low levels like uh level two level three level one guys um just to get uh, an idea on it now normally damage uh on these people without body armor was 45 so as you can see here um, Joe actually takes a hit with the body armor perk and he gets 36. Now this was uh, seen across the board on all our characters. We saw 36. Um, and then, uh, you know, they were saying that this armor stacks. When you put the Rook armor on, it stacks on top of the body armor. And um, initially that looked to be the case because then afterward when uh, Joe started getting hit and he had the body armor and he had picked up the Rook armor, we noticed that the number was down. The number was 27 and it was a consistent 27. Um, but it's not so much a stack as much as it is Rook's numbers overwrite the, the body armor for the most part. So body armor does decrease. So we go from 45 uh, damage from like a grunt swing to 36 damage with the body armor and then um when you have the rook armor on it's a 27 damage um but it doesn't matter whether you have just the rook armor or the rook and the body armor what it is is the rook armor kind of writes over the body armor um so you don't need to come in with the body armor and have someone drop uh armor because it doesn't stack uh, just Rook's armor is enough and it's sufficient enough to uh, defend for the most part. Um, and we did this and, and tested this uh, immensely. And as you'll uh, see here after this guy gets cleared, this is with just a Rook armor and no body armor. Uh, and then we see the same numbers for the most part. So uh, this is, again, a one armor character. And you can you can pretty much see it here how it goes down. So you see it hits for 27. So whether you have body armor and rook armor or just rook armor, you're you're seeing 27 regardless. You're seeing 36 uh, with just body armor, and you're seeing 45 uh, flat with no armor on at all. That's no rook or body armor. Um, now, so I would just say, just keep that in mind that Rook's armor is actually better than the body armor attachment. So if you do have someone playing Rook, you are guaranteed to have less damage reduction. And this makes sense as to why people thought that uh, it was stacking because it would make sense. You can kind of see the number, but it's not a stack. It's like an, it's more of like an overwrite. It pretty much is like a, a set variable on defensive, I guess. And I hope this answered any uh, questions you guys have or any you know, misconceptions with uh, how the armor works. But uh, these tests definitely pointed it out to us and uh, wanted to share that with you guys.